channel and if you're new my name is Leanne and thanks for watching and to those that have been subscribing to my channel thank you thank you so much for supporting me and watching my videos on a weekly basis I highly appreciate it first off I just tell you guys what this video is about it's obviously the Manolo Blahniks top three favorite shoes are some of my collection that I do have and these are my top three especially if you are wanting to start collecting the Manolo Blahnik collection staple shoes and these are classics and I doubt that they will ever go out of style for me I definitely love these shoes I haven't really worn it especially you know with what's been going on the past few months but I can't wait to start wearing them so in regards to that I will definitely do a try on after I talk about the shoes and show you guys how it looks with my outfit right now and show you guys some tips on where to wear it and how to wear it and if you guys would like to learn more please keep watching right, guys right before we jump into this video please hit that subscribe button so you can subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified whenever I do upload them and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to leave me some comments below on what you thought about this video if you or if you have any video suggestions follow me on my Instagram account at Leah and on the go and you can also follow me for my latest fashion outfits and where I purchase my items from at the like to know it app let's get started so I want to show you guys my top three boxes of Manolo's and I will just start from the most well-known uh, Manolo shoes which is the Hangisi if you're just like me I first probably saw this on the Sex and the City movie when Carrie Bradshaw was wearing the shoes even though Anola Blahniks has been around for a while she kind of made it into a staple fashion shoes especially the blue ones which I will go over with right now with you and with that being said she this was probably going for like $600 at the time but when Sex and the City movie came out I guess eight years ago uh, I'm not really sure to be exact what year it came out. The Manolo Blahniks Hangisi, which is for the blue ones, definitely went up uh, probably $500 more. So these are investment shoes, and these are shoes typically worn for a wedding. It's called the, I guess, My Something Blue. I've worn this blue ones yet, but I will show you guys and try it on for you guys. And this is the box right here. And the top. And it says Manolo Blahniks. And this is the first one we'll go over. So right here is the dust bag. It usually comes with a dust bag. I would put it in here just in case. It comes with another one. Sometimes it doesn't fit, So, but I managed to fit both of them into this one uh, dust bag. But let me just show you the shoes. It's so beautiful. So this is the right pair and this is the left pair. And as I mentioned before, if you have seen the Sex and the City movie, this is the shoes that Carrie Bradshaw left at the apartment and she actually wore this to her wedding uh, with Big. So this is really what it's known for. This is the four inch high Manolo's. I love these shoes. It's actually probably one of the most comfortable designer shoes that I would highly suggest to invest in other than like Louis Vuitton's or uh, shoes that I like is the Valentino's Rockstead but these shoes are so comfortable they really don't hurt my feet I haven't worn it at a long period of time but when I did wear it to try it on for a few minutes it wasn't hurting my feet um, this uh, stone area is I think the clear one they have one that it's in dark uh, crystals and right here it has the black heel area and I got this in a size 34 and a half typically I'm a 35 in Louis Vuittons or any other shoes but these definitely run big so I went ahead and got the 34 and a half so just go into any of the you know Nordstrom's or Neiman Marcus stores and you can definitely try it on for yourself to see which one fits best and this is definitely my favorite these are definitely wedding shoes but you can definitely dress this up with like black outfits suits 
uh, jeans. You can definitely wear these with jeans because it gives that blue uh, hue to it. Uh, it's that statement pop color, so you really don't match it. Or you can uh, color block with your outfits, like different types of color blues. So these shoes can go with it that way. And I will try this on for you guys here in a little bit. My second favorite pair of the Hengisis are the plush satin. So this is more of the nude version of the blue ones. I got these because I believe that I could wear it more than I could with the blue outfits. Even I try to look up different outfit types for that blue one, I believe I couldn't wear it as much. So I purchased this color and it is the flesh satin color aka nude and it has the clear crystals on it as well and you can see it's made the same way it's four inches high there's two different ones there's one for like three and a half inches and then this is like four inches i like it taller and it looks sexier that way so this is what it looks like in the front and this is the other pair and it's just a very very beautiful shoe and it's so comfortable too so this, you can definitely wear this with a lot more outfits than the blue one. The blue one is definitely a classic, but this could be a classic too. People know that this is a Manolo Blahnik shoe. You can wear it definitely more with different type of outfits. It could be, you know, a black tie type of outfit or even like casual outfit. And just being the color nude, you know, you can definitely match this with more clothing. And I will try this for you guys here in a second. pair of shoes that I want to cover today uh, comes also in the Manola Blahniks. This is not the Hangisi, but these are the Lurum. This is the slide back sandals. It looks like mules and you'll see here in a second. Regular dust bag that comes with it and these are probably more expensive than the Hangisis. But these are the shoes that Amy Song had on and I'm so in love with these shoes. This can definitely match with a lot more outfits, going out outfits, night outfits, birthday dinner, black tie events, that's for sure. And then you can even wear this with like suits and stuff. So it's very dramatic, but it's just so sleek to where it doesn't look too much. It's definitely a staple shoes. It is more expensive than the Hengisi, but these are black ones. I definitely have to get some Manolos and black ones that I know will be a statement piece. So I went ahead and got this. So this, I got it in a size 35 and a half. I thought I would be a 34 and a half like I am with my uh, Hengisi shoes, but I went up a size and I did five and a half. So with my Hengisi, I wear a four and a half. And then with this, I went up a whole size up and got a 35 and a half. So this is the five and a half in the US size. 
So I will try the shoes on for you as well and show you guys how it looks on my outfit. my video for today on my top three Manola Blahnik shoes and thank you guys so much for watching and making it this far into the video uh, I really appreciate you guys investing into my channel so uh, please if you haven't yet subscribe to my channel hit that subscribe button please don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified whenever I do upload these videos on a weekly basis if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave me a comment below. And don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video informative or helpful. And follow me on my Instagram account at Leanne on the go. And if you want to learn more about my latest fashion outfits, follow me on the Like to Know It app. Download it and follow me is the same name as Le Leanne on the go. And thank you guys so much for watching again. And I look forward to seeing you guys on my next video.